Oh, hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to a game called Timberborn. You know this one, it's the game where you build little beaver colonies and have fun doing so because there's no people left anymore and now beavers rule the world or something kind of strange like that. Anyway, the developers liked our last couple of videos so much that they offered to sponsor this one. So I wanted to thank them straight up for that. And if you guys do want to play this game on your own, make sure you click on the link down below in the video description to download it for yourself. You can buy it on Steam or the Epic Store. And if you do get on the Epic Store, make sure you use the code Blitz when you check out on there and that goes for any game you can use that on any game on the epic store so we're going to be playing with the iron teeth today the defectors of traditional timber ways they mastered iron and science to build advanced machinery yeah okay so their progress through ingenuity efficiency and disregard for the environment that sounds nice now there are a couple different maps we can play with the plains are the normal one canyons kind of cool we tried out meander last time and uh, well it didn't go so good because they ran out of trees but there's some other ones that i want to check out waterfall sounds kind of cool but maybe some danger there and diorama i don't even know what that means so should we play maybe on waterfalls Sure, why not? We'll try it and see what happens. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Now, I've never looked at this map before, and I'm kind of excited. That is a lot of trees there. Okay, we, we got a good start. Lots of trees. Ooh, look at this little area. That's kind of neat. We can fill that up to be a like a, a long-term well. And let's see, this comes down. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Nice waterfalls there. We could maybe divert the channel around here and have multiple flowways. That's awesome. And it comes out in one way there interesting so this whole side over here doesn't have much going for it but if we break down that well we could break down that and then flood that too maybe interesting map i kind of like it i also need to know it does look like there is some flow so our water wheel would work and this comes down nicely over here two levels is that two down or one looks like one so we wouldn't really have much water in there. But I think the game's like, hey, we want you to build around here. So I might do that eventually. Now let's plan this out nicely. We're going to put a direct line over to here. I don't think I want to build a dam through there, but possibly a levee would be nice. I definitely want a deep water pump going into that so I can build up a road right here. Now let's see what we can do with lumberjacks. I don't want... Oh, we can go all the way over there. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so I might do the lumber jacks like right here to begin with. I'm going to build three of those. We'll path that together. And then more towards the middle of the map, we'll do the industrial log pile. That looks good. This area looks very nice right here for a, a field. So we will put in a... Oh, we do a gatherer flag over here to gather all of that. And then I'll slap in a warehouse right on this side of the world. That looks pretty good. And I think we'll let that roll. I know what I do need. I do need the farmhouse right away. I'm going to put the farmhouse in here and then we'll build out some carrot farms. That looks to be a decent sized carrot farm. Cool. All right. So first things first, we need this thing done right away. And then I want the carrot farm in secondly. Okay. I'll make them do that. They'll build up these first. I'll also get some more builders going. And then we don't have any trees cut yet. Yeah, you guys chop down. I want these trees gone first so they have a chance to regrow. And then we'll take these second. We have zero unemployed beavers, so we got that going for us. Yep, and they're going to come in here and then build this thing up. That's perfect. I probably should get a nice water tank or two. This looks like a good spot for it. I'll do four of them and they'll be on a lower priority. Good. The water pump is created. It looks like the farmhouse is coming in hot next. I'll queue up two inventor stations here too so we can get start getting some science going on. And nice. We got our beavers starting to plant already in day number two. That's awesome. These carrots will grow very nice. We have our, our log pile ready to go and our logs being chopped down nicely. I like this. This is a good start. So now that they cut down all of those trees, let's go across, cut down these and these up here. Inventor hut number one completed and inventor hut number two going up very quickly. All right I like that how it's working. I'm gonna turn one of these off So we have one more worker to start getting some of that We should have a decent amount of trees for a little bit And I think I also want to build up like a birthing pod area. I liked having four last time So I think we're gonna start with that now. Yay. I love it. We have little birthing pods going on. Look at these things I totally just had the wrong key going on <laughs> breeding halted waiting for nutrients yeah slap some water and berries in there and a baby just magically pops out i don't know how that works but i love it 
because it's strange and it, it's just weird and I like that. Ooh, this is nice. Down in here we have some maple trees. These things have eight logs, which are fantastic resources. This is kind of cool too. I wonder if I can build like a, a bridge over here. Wouldn't that be neat? Like a bridge over the mountainside? I don't know if I need it, but I kind of want to. These guys do like their metal bridges. A suspension bridge. Wow, 1,600 science? It's amazing. Oh good, we have a bunch of beavers grow up. I put this on pause because I thought we would need more people for it, but the beavers grew up, so we can chop down more trees, we can build better things, we can get lots of science going on. It's an amazing day here in Beavertopia. And now they're harvesting carrots, which is fantastic. They will shove them here directly inside of this thing. I'm gonna put this desired amount to 100 and here too. It's also amazing, we're getting logs. After playing that last video and not having any logs for the longest time, this makes me happy inside. I'm gonna put in two of these barracks, which should hold all of our beavers. Until these guys hatch. Do they hatch? I don't know, do beaverlings hatch? Beaver kits, whatever they're called? I like that sound. It's very satisfying. It's the sound of like a drowning beaver baby. Which is good, because that's how they get hatched. Look, there's a beaver baby inside. One beaver barracks completed. Lots of beaverlings sleeping inside of it. And this one's halfway there. Still living on a prayer. So it satisfies sleep and comfort, which is pretty good. I don't really know what else it does, because we still need the baby pods to make the babies in. Nice, and two of them were born. Dork, Dorkas, and dude, what, Duana? I don't know. <laughs> the beaver names of this game are incredible to me. Okay, we're gonna turn this deep pump well off right now. We don't really need that. Oh, hey look, level five. They're so excited. Do we have goals? Oh yeah, iron teeth. Okay, so we don't really have anything else to do. That's fine. Except chop down trees and murder them because we're beavers. And get lots of science points because we're beavers. And we like science or something. Now speaking of beaver science, we need that forester. We're gonna build this. And I'm gonna put it in an area where I can use it really well and good. Like right there. But in order to build that, we need planks. And in order to make planks, we have to have water flow. Technically, we don't have to have water flow, but it makes it easier because we have to make the lumber mill. That'll be good right there. It's taken an enormous amount of logs though. Okay, cool. So that's all destroyed. Now, can you, how far can you reach? I thought you wouldn't be able to reach over here. So let's make another path all the way this way. And then we can put in a couple more lumberjack flags. All right, like that. Oh, really? It's annoying. I want to save all of the good land, so if I do this and over, then I can put in the lumberjack flags over here. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, cool, I didn't notice this. They got little lights on in there. There's no windows in their Beaver Lodge barracks thing, but there's little lights, that's kind of cool. And they go off once everyone leaves. I also don't think I want too many more babies. Let's pause these puppies. Kits, they're not puppies, they're called kits. All right, we're gonna pause them for a little bit. And then I'll pause that one and this one. I'll leave one up over here. Keep that one up and we'll pause this one. So the workers will come over to this side of the world where I will tell them to murder all of these trees because that's what they're good for. Good job. Just in time for another dry season. That actually works out pretty well, to be honest. We have a good amount of carrots. We don't really. Can these get harvested again? It's watered and alive. We might be able to get another one harvested here. We have 87 water, that should, could be enough. All right, tell you what, let's turn that one on. We are going to turn this one off. And then maybe, okay, good. Mola Nililil is going to this one. I like that. Oh, that's so cool too. Oh, nice. The lumber mill got completed and so did that. So this has, good, this has power to it now. Excellent, 106 water completed. We need those two filled up yet. We still have 246 science points, which is cool. I'd like to make my way up over here, like through the mountain, but I don't know how to do that with the technology we have right now. There's also a lot of ruins up there we could harvest and a lot of trees. This side of the map looks very luscious. I would like to dam this thing off. And good, the carrots are ready to go. Excellent. Cool, so our water supply is filled up entirely. We have one unemployed, that's okay. We can chop down some trees. I would like this thing to be done because then we can plant trees and a few of these bushes. I could also research the large water tank, which would be cool. And the drought has started. Okay, I'm excited to see how this one goes through. Oh, wow. 
All right, so it's moving down pretty quickly. I don't think anything's going to stay. Yeah, everything on the map just dried up quickly. We might have to remedy that in a little bit. I'm unlocking the stairs, and we're going to try to build across this tonight. Well, in this dry season, which isn't tonight. That'll look good. Cool, and we'll put you up over here. And then I could cut down these trees if they're in range. And you know what? They can't do that because it doesn't have any power. I can't build anything more. So I guess we're going to have to build a regular power wheel. I didn't want to do that because they're expensive. Power wheels ready to go. Did somebody work on it? Good. Trezor at Trezhan is working on it. Oh, some of the babes grew up. That's awesome. Wait, that's broken to me. <laughs> With the wheel is spinning one way and the, the mill and the inside spinning the other. It's kind of funny, actually. I like it. And look at the little dude running on the treadmill. <laughs> That's so much fun. He's going to have more fun when, what is it, the power? When we can make literal engines that burn fuel. Like, they're going to love doing that. I love burning things, and I'm sure beavers do too. The other good news is we still have 106 food and 31 water remaining in this day cycle, or the wet cycle is almost back. So I think we made it through this one nicely. I do want to get this large water tank, and I have enough science for it, so we're going to do that. And then I will put that puppy in right here. I keep saying puppy. I feel like, why am I saying puppy so much? This large unit, the thick boy. Is that better? Okay, so I want to know if we can plant trees in the off season. I want to fill up this whole corner here with tree production. And I kind of want pine. So we're just going to try it and see what happens. I don't know if he can plant it when it's dry. He can't. It's kind of annoying. I wish he could. I mean, he's a beaver. Should know how to plant things. An explosive factory sounds fun. But we need a paper mill and I... Oh, yes, we got water back. Yeah, we got water. That is so nice. It is so satisfying when everything goes green. I love it. I don't know why I love it so much, but I love it. Everything's green and shiny and good. All right, we can turn you off. And they finally built the stairs across the world, but can they use them? That was supposed to be a change in this update where they could actually walk across land like that let's see is this still in oh it is nice so i can build a lumberjack flag over here and they should be able to swim across and then kill all the trees this thing also requires gears which i don't have any of mines will make it right 100 science points i mean that's what we got it for there's the paper mill too okay if i put you in right next to it i could probably just put in a water mill a water wheel right here that would work if they can get to it I think they could get to it. I'm not a scientist, but I think they can get to that. Nice, the little dude must have made it over. Oh yeah, they swim right through the river. Look at them go. That's adorable. I'm glad that beavers can walk in the river because they're beavers and they should be able to do that. That was one of my complaints with the demo, but they got that fixed, so that's cool. All right, next stage, we're gonna build up another farmhouse. Um, not sure where to put it. Right there is fine. Why does a gigantic water silo need gears? That's them asking the real question here. Maybe there's some sort of moving mechanism in it, like a pump that, oh yeah, there is a pump. That's pretty neat. So they dump it in and it gets pumped. Neat. I love him swimming too, that's adorable. Look at the little fella. He's just crawling across the river like a beaver would. Nice. Oh, he's gonna bring a stick back. Are you gonna do that? Oh, he's riding on it like a little floaty. That's awesome. So real question, can I make the platform? It looks like I can. I have enough science for it. And if I put a platform here, I don't know if I can get over to it with the builders because this thing doesn't go very far. Let's see. Oh, it might get there. We got to get that little blue. Ooh. Okay, that worked. I didn't know you could go through stumps. This would be so nice if I could make this work. Get down in here and capture these trees too because those maple trees are so big. So much wood from them. And this is also nice. The second beaver hut got completed so we can have one guy planting and two guys harvesting. I think I'm going to plant the rest of this. Ooh, I can't. Because I need another sidewalk in here. There we go. Now I can plant those. With corns. There we go. And by corn, that's totally not corn. Carrots are not corn. I might as well put in a gathering flag over here too. There's some free berries. I like free things. I mean, if this gatherer flag is up there, I wonder if I can make a sidewalk path thing so they can reach farther? Nope. <laughs> guess not oh finally the gear workshops completed um that's awesome i don't know what i'm going to use it for but the gear workshops completed i need a lot more food before the next wet cycle or dry cycle too yikes 
Oh, wow, some of the trees are growing. Uh, just kidding. Ha! <laughs> didn't grow. Oh, he's planting. He's like, nope, we're not letting that thing live anymore. Can you die too? I want to kill this one. I want to kill that tree. Just make it dead. <laughs> the guy's like, yes, I love killing trees. And he just totally mauled it. All right, we're going to put a corn back in here. It's not a corn. You know what I mean. Oh, good. So we're getting another cycle. I totally don't want to harvest. I don't want to plant right now. I just want to harvest everything. Another dry cycle is coming. I'm not feeling confident with the amount of food that I have. This might end really, really not goodly. I only have 60. Okay, you guys are getting paused again. I'm sorry, little baby beavers. I love you, but I don't at the same time. I like having the control over baby beavers. This kind of sounds psychopathic. Okay, I'm going to try to pause some of these buildings. I need to get more water things built. We don't really need to plant any more food, but we need everything harvested, so I'd like to have two workers there. Uh, I can turn down another worker here because we don't need so many builders. This forester doesn't really need to be building right now either, or he could, but I don't really need that. I'm going to turn this lumberjack off and this one off too, so we have just extra people getting ready for the dry season. Yep, we're getting food over here, which is nice. Uh, we have two lumberjacks here that we don't need. One of them is far good enough. We don't even need him right now, but it's unemployed, so that's okay. Really just food and water. Those are the main things I need right now. Please get me more food, Dorcas. I totally messed that up. I needed more water. And I think over the winter season, we can have somebody run, or the dry season, we can have somebody run, and we can make up a bunch more planks. And then right away when we get water back, we can make gears. I think that'll work out. I just want all hands on deck right now. All beavers on on dam. That maybe that's a better way to put it. Okay, cool. We have two. Oh, they just grew up overnight. That's perfect. Okay, they'll chop down those trees. This will get constructed pretty soon. I guess we could turn this back on. And the drought has started. 273, 293, 295 carrots and 154 water. We'll see how it goes. Oh man, that is so scary when it just destroys everything right away. This should be pretty good here. We should get these planks and we can take down these trees. They're getting all of the extra berries. This is going so much better than the last time we played. I do wish I had this thing though. That would have been really nice to get working. So I'm gonna have to make that work instead. We can turn both of these off. Come on, build those stairs. Build them up so good. They didn't build it yet. Yes, yes, we have stairs down. That's so cool. Maple trees for days. Oh yeah, chop down one tree and we get eight logs out of it. This is nice. Yes, chop it down, little beaver. One, two, that's so nice. Three, four, uh-huh, five. This is great. I love chopping trees. Perfect, that was good. There's a lot of trees down from those maples. Okay, so I think the next stage is going to be doing this, some landscaping, <laughs> building dams all the way across here. Oh yes, that's satisfying. It's also gonna use up pretty much all of our trees. I'm a little bit scared about it. A little scared. But we have a half a day left, and we still have 265 food and 88 water, so that's awesome. The drought has ended. The water is coming back. <laughs> Watch the waterfall. That's so cool. I don't know how many times I need to say that's so cool, but it is so cool. Yep, and then all of it comes down. Now, I could go open up that hole, but I don't really want to yet. I want to build some dams first, and then get everything flooded. And, like, open up this area, even though it's really nice in there. I think also a very good uh, one of these things over on that other side would work nicely. A forestry to make forests. And now we're back in the wet season. We can make babies again. There we go. They're all turned on, ready to go. We're making some gears up. And the gears will build this. Oh, we have one of 20 done. Now, where's the closest of these things? Where can I get the best runes possible? It's going to be that one, isn't it? How do I get up and over the mountain? Maybe it's this one. I just want something I don't have to make another district in. We can try. Let's see how far over there we can get. I'll build up a nice path right up to here. We'll build a nice ladder over here because everyone knows that beavers can't climb very good. And then we'll build a platform in the ditch and then we'll build that and that. And we might be able to make it over there. I don't know what we're gonna do with it, but I really want it because making large sturdy platforms and suspension bridges sounds amazing. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I didn't want to, I'm gonna do it. We're going to totally disable that. And then that'll flood this little chamber back here and give us some more water back in this spot. Make some more green zone. That's interesting. They're getting ripe going backwards. 
<laughs> it's kind of cool. Okay, so these guys are harvesting in the other, or these ones are planting and those are harvesting. So lots of work should be getting done. And we're very close to getting our dam created. Lots of trees being harvested over here too, but nobody's working in this thing. Um, let's fire a worker. And then he can plant trees. Trees are maybe as important as carrots right now. I need some more babies though. Maybe we could build another cabin thing, barracks. That one was 58 years old. Did I see that right? 58 year old beaver. Ah, dang, that's an old beaver. Oh, this is so cool. This dam is almost created entirely. And probably out of maple trees, so it looks really pretty when it's all varnished and stained nicely. I was hoping I could get this done before the next white season, too. Or next dry season. I always get them mixed up. Leave me alone. One more remaining. One more remaining. Ooh, wow, and 17 of the gears that we need, too. That's cool. Nobody's... We don't have enough water. <laughs> we need more water. Oh, we have unemployed people. Uh, why? Look at that water squirting through that hole. <laughs> it's so fast. I love the water physics. It's like, oh boy, we just love going over there. And then we're gonna put in three more logs. Yes, one more log. And then the dam is gonna be completed. Hopefully nothing floods. Hopefully nothing floods. They just walked across it. That's great. It'll take a little bit of time to update the physics, I bet. Probably the next dry season. But it's working. It should keep water in here after... Well, it should just keep water in here after the dry season happens. Yes! Yes, and our giganto water thingy is done, too. I might actually need another water well. It looks like a good spot for one. And that is pretty much all of my building projects, except for these. And there's that stairs completed, so can we make... Oh, we can make it up here! Oh, that's cool! We can start getting metal now! <gasps> We can start, okay, that's 250. We have 8,000. We can do it. I don't even, oh wow, this takes horsepower though. Okay. I mean, our mines will start, right? We can do that. I could also put in a lumberjack thing over here just to clean out the trees. So we make it easier to walk through it. What kind of trees are they? They're just regular pines. That's awesome. We're starting to mine some metal. Ow, cool! But I tell you what, my friends, I think before we start mining that stuff up today, we're going to end this episode and uh, take care of it in another one. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you do click on that link in the video description to download Timberborn for yourself on Steam or on the Epic Store and use the code BLITZ as well. Thanks again for the developer sponsoring this video and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And a special thanks to all of the channel members and the Patreons, including Alan H., Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Ben, Dickie J., Des B., Eagle Ark, Maxer, Whip It Good, Baron Fox, Zarnoff, Deegan, Jason M., Ral, Iffy Sphere, Splattersax, and Joe B.